today we read uh, verse 25 of the Vilap Kushmanjali book. And uh, Suniti, she is today in, uh, uh, invited to a yoga school nearby, and Goravani also is there. So they uh, uh, guide the, the yoga class with Kirtan. So then I, I read uh, first 25 because um, the last days in the morning class, we uh, uh, spoke about this beautiful verse and especially the uh, explanation of, of uh, Anandadas Babaji. It's very beautiful about feelings. So, welcome everybody. for sharing in this beautiful book of the Villa Pushmanjali, where all important secrets got opened by the mercy of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, by the mercy of Anandadas Babaji, by the mercy of Gurudev and all our Parampara Gurus. So we can take part of this beautiful book. Oh Goddess, when will I make a stripe of Sindura, that is vermilion, on your part? with a jeweled pencil that will make your hair look so beautiful. So this uh, Sindura is, uh, even nowadays in India, it is, uh, they, the uh, women make this line between the, the part. And uh, here we also see that it is made by a, a jeweled pencil. Explanations. After he painted wonderful, playful Makari fishes on Sri Radhika's breasts, Sri Ra Raghunath experienced the pain of separation. When this vision vanished from him, then when he experienced the flavor of devotional service again, the ocean of his bl bliss wells up again. In this way, it goes on continuously. the separation and the meeting, the service. Nothing in this world can compare to that succession of bliss and agony, which is always present in a lively way in the hearts of the Rasika devotees. This morning we spoke very nicely about what is meaning of Rasika, of Rasa. It is when one is in a re loving relationship and experience this exchange of loving feeling, Rasa will come automatically. This is 
It is as if the ocean of joy and sorrow is being churned, producing the reviving nectar of union and the concomitant poison of separation. The hearts of the loving devotees are constantly immersed in the ocean of prema and the clashing waves in that ocean sometimes produce the transcendental agony of separation and sometimes the transcendental bliss of meeting. So in this way, the waves are coming and going and becoming higher and higher. This is so they can experience this rasa, prema, highest rasa. The devotees are permanently inundated by these waves as they advance towards their beloved deity. So it's clear now we need this beloved deity. We, know, we have to know who we are and who is our beloved deity. Then we can exchange love and experience in that exchanging rasa, juice. Would have said sometimes. In this verse, Tulasi applies a line of Sindura, reddish powder, that married girls wear on Shrimati's part. It is the service of the embodiment of ecstatic love. Tulasi sits in front of Shrimati and puts the stripe of Sindura on her part with deep concentration using a jeweled pencil with steady hand with deep concentration there is a meaning so this is uh, it has to be beautiful for Moha and so she is meditating on this, how to make it most beautiful so that Radhika will madden our Mohan with this decoration. That Sindura shines like the morning red in the deep dark night of Sri Radhika's hair. That Sindura shines like the morning red in the deep dark night of Shiradika's hair. Tulasi is amazed to see that beauty and says, Devi, when will that Sindura that I apply now with a jeweled pencil beautify Krishna's curly locks also? It may stick on his hair during some special love pastimes you play. At that time, it may seem that the work I am doing now will be ruined. But if this happens during your love uh, lilas, it is actually making my endeavors a complete success. Radhe. Gurudev. Yeah. We are bathing in the, in the joy of explanation. This, this uh, again read this line, huh? Yeah. The black hair. With red, uh, red Black black Sundura, black Sundura, yeah. No, red Sundura in black 
shines like the morning red. Morning <laughs> red is the young my passion. Wow. Morning, uh, fresh passion. Wow. For Krishna. Red is the passion and black is the Krishna. And in the morning, red means when I'm young, mm. fresh passion for Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. So Tulasi is very concentrated to put this morning red on the black hair of Radhika. In the deep dark night of Sri Radhika's hair, Tulasi is amazed to see that beauty and says, Devi, when will that Sindura that I apply now with a jeweled pencil beautify Krishna's curly locks also. It may stick on his hair during some special love lilas you play. At that time, it may seem that the work I am doing now will be ruined. So here, Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Jai Gurudev. Jai Vaishnavas. Radhe Radhe. So here, uh, Raghunath Swami and Baba are hinting, this can only happen when this uh, complete success of the ornamentation of uh, Tulsi Manjari can, and this very special pastime is when the Sindura is becoming entangled with uh, Krishna's curly black locks. It's only possible when they play a very special pastime. So this is a very intimate, intimate Leela where the Manjaris only can, can take part when Radhika is taking the active and the aggressive role and Krishna is the passive role. So then only can their hairs mingle and the Sindura part can can become on Radhika's hair. Otherwise, this is not possible. And Krishna likes this this kind of pastime very, very much. It 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 uh, enhances his rasa, his bliss even more. So this is a very, very special pastime. It's called the reverse role. I don't know the Sanskrit word, but they reverse the role. And Krishna is the the passion, the passive one, and uh, Radhika is the the one who who takes action. So it's a very wonderful and beautiful pastime hidden in this sentence of Baba. Jaiho. At that time, it may seem that the work I am doing now will be ruined. But if this happens during your love lilas, it is actually making my endeavors a complete success. This decoration is not made for you, nor for me. Only Shyam is qualified to enjoy it. <laughs> Blessed is that maidservant who can make Shyam mad after Swamini. Swamini independently experiences how Shyam alone is qualified to see her clothing and no one else. That's why one day she told her girlfriends in Rasodgara He told me what's on his heart, and he touched me again. He was trapped in the noose of love. Night and day he was thinking on me and crying his life airs out.
all through he keeps his chest on my breasts and his face on my face. And he constantly looks at me. He still feels as if he lost me. Tearing open his chest, he wants to keep me in his heart. He does not wear his favorite necklace around his neck, nor does he anoint his body with sandal paste anymore. With great effort he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. Who like to explain this? Guru if you can explain this verse. He does not wear his favorite necklace around his neck, nor does he anoint his body with sandal paste anymore. With great effort he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. Oh, Baba, you like to explain. This is... Maybe Gurudev is, is busy or? I think he's busy, huh? Yeah, it looks like this. Read it again from one sentence before, Gurasundara, please. One sentence more. All through, he keeps his chest on my breasts and his face on my face. Yes. And he constantly looks at me. He still, he still feels as if he lost me. Tearing yeah, open a... his chest, he wants to keep me in his heart. And now this verse comes, he does not wear his favorite necklace around his neck. Nor does he anoint his body with sandal paste anymore. With great effort, he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. So what is the meaning there? <laughs> Gurudev, is can you say? Radhika the jewel? What is the jewel? Gurudev. Uh, Radhika is the jewel. Yes, ah. wonderful. But he don't know where to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> um, isn't this uh, a hint to Gorachandra? Because Krishna appreciated this jewel, but in, in his form, he couldn't reprosecate in this in this way, and he didn't know where to to do it, where, where to put it, and so perhaps it is a hint. Well, I have to take another form to to express this deep love I have received. I would like to reciprocate in an adequate way, in, in a way as I, in this form, can do. Perhaps this is this, this jewel. He doesn't want, no, to keep it. Very nice, beautiful. Very good, very beautiful. So he appeared as a Chaitanya. Very nice. Because in Parkia, how he cannot keep it. So he, he appears as a Chaitanya in the form of Radha Krishna. Okay. 
now he is keeping and living with that. He wow. can say only madly, Krishna, Krishna. And Krishna can see Radha, Radha. They are keeping, Chaitanya is keeping and crying for each other. <laughs> and this is uh, Bhavnasvati. He is living in this feeling, and this feeling mad, make mad for each other. Yes. Not keep it. Before he don't know where to keep it. So they will wow. Great Mahatma, you can see this. In German, I'm surprised so many high souls are living to bring so deep in subject. Also, also yeah. This is all your mercy, it is happening. No, Gurudev, you are our you are our channel, Gurudev. I also think that this is a very, very special moment when 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 they are like this, because Gora Gorasunda, you read that Krishna is thinking that Radhika is no more with him, right? This was also yeah. one line. So, yes. so here, here we see that again, because the roles are reversed in that pastime when the Sindura of Swamini gets to the locks of Krishna, so they have reversed the roles. So now Krishna is so intimate with Radhika, they are one now, that he himself feels that that madness Radhika is feeling. There is one uh, uh, scene where Swamini is sitting on the lap of Krishna and she is thinking and she is seeing herself in his pearls and she is thinking, oh my God, he is again with another woman. So now Krishna is feeling, where is my Swamini? Although his face is with her face and his breast is on her breast. So now he himself, like Gurudev just said, Mahaprabhu is feeling Bhavala Sarati, but now Krishna is also feeling this incredible Brema Vaichitya, this incredible madness that even while being very close on each other and with each other, Krishna is thinking, where is my Swamini? So he is in a kind of very helpless, helpless state because Radhika conquered him in the erotic Leela and she is the, she is the powerful now. So now she, he feels what actually normally she feels in Madanakya Mahabhav. This is this very magical Brema Vaichitya. Now Krishna is also feeling that. This is very, very astonishing too. And very intense feelings. Gurudev, uh, uh, may I share something? I was reading in the morning Baba's commentary to, to one of the verses in Brema Bhakti Chandrika, and he is saying why, why it is so special what the mancharis, what the mancharis relish. May I share this? Is this okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, Baba is saying that actually, um, I can read it so beautiful. It fits so nicely. Why the mantras are so special? Um, when the Sakis, the Sakis are desiring the union on, on Radhika's advice, the Sakis desire to be with Krishna, but they cannot taste. Baba is saying they have not the good fortune of relishing his full Madhurya. The Sakis cannot relish Krishna's full Madhurya because of only one reason. And Baba is uh, quoting Chaitanya Charitamrita, and he's saying that the Sakis cannot relish his full uh, uh, Madhuri, Madhuriya because when he is with the Sakis, Swamini is not there. 
And then he quotes this verse from the Chaitanya Charitamrita saying that even though Sri Radha's mirror of true love is pure, still its transparency increases at every moment. And though my own Madhurya has no room to increase, before Swamini it appears in ever fresh form. My Madhurya and Radhika's Prema challenge each other, and because both increase at every moment, neither knows defeat. So that means that when the Sakis are together with Krishna, the full Madhurya of Krishna is not complete because Swamini is not there and it's not going higher and higher. So when only when Krishna is together with Swamini, the full Madhurya Ras is to be experienced. And that is the special point of the mantra is they can experience this because when Radhika and Krishna, especially now laying there in the Nikuncha in the bed, so this means this is the highest form of Madhurya Rasa Radha and Krishna are exchanging because they both, um, one, one's beauty is, is, is augmenting the other's beauty and it's going vice versa, higher and higher and higher. The Sakis, they cannot experience this because Swamini is not there. I found this very, very wonderful to see how beautiful the, the position of the mantra is, is because they want the, the divine couple together when both outshine each other in beauty. I like this very much. Thank you. Very, 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 very deep. Because you help us, Gurudev. Understanding the deep subject matters. Very good. To understand Baba's songs, I just sound to it. Of golden words. Mm. Happen in other books. Mm. A day realization comes. Our good luck to us. So much mercy. Please share, Kukudev. Please share. Well, this is the highest. Sometimes we have to stop our mouth, only have to feel it. <laughs> Subject not to share, to realize, to give yeah. with pride. Yes. Yeah. Rasa is to feel, not to speak about. What deep your realization will feel. Sakhi bhav or gopi bhav cannot ravish this. Without bhav lasts. Desire of meeting of Krishna will never go. In gopi bhav or sakhi So, the Manjari groups are separate totally. Our last theme is they are living in the feelings of me. And they are tied with the feelings, not with the physical activities. Feelings means is in, inside. You have to feel it, that's it. Not do it. <laughs> they mm. are doing, the manjaris are feeling on me. Mm. This is the difference between manjari bhav 
and Sakhi and Gopis. They want to do, they are in actions. Manjiris are feeling actions. They are living in the feelings. And watching, that is Manjiri. Right? Hmm. Agree? Yes, Gurudev. The mantras, the mantras, sometimes they don't need words to do the seva. They, they have, with the eyes, Swamini is giving telepathic instruction because of Tat Atmya, because of so being closed. That is wonderful. Mantra, the, the Sakis don't see it and they cannot understand it. That is very wonderful. Oh, they will understand. <laughs> <laughs> I want to taste it, and one has to feel it. Feeling is different, and tasting is a different thing. Two subjects. I am a doer, and the manjis say I am a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> different, different test is there. Mm. Doer is different, and viewer is different. I'm not interested in doing anything. Not want to involve, and I want to watch from you. Your mood and your mood. Right. So gopi, gopis cannot give that sweetness and feelings what Radhika is giving. The thing now I got it. And Radhika said, I know you are mine. You are always. This is nothing new. New, but always meeting is new. Every moment is new. When they meet, every moment is the new meeting. Hmm. But it's no desire new meetings. There is a desire in the meetings. Selfless and desireful. How they can give when I am not selfless, how I can give them? I want to preserve for next time. Okay. Everything I will give them, no test will be there. <laughs> and she want to give in the first meeting ever. Because you are mine. Always I will give everything to you. I yes, I yes. Mandri will see Gopi Sakhi has no, no vision and no initiative. Hmm. So who is practicing Gopi Vau or Sakhi? Gopi Vau or Sakhi Vau? They have no desire to be in Vau last week. You see? Because how they will be feeling that and, and the love comes from Radhika and their mind is Sanchari with Radhika. 
not as I Vidraji. Radhika is Sanjayi, Krishna is just I Hmm. What? <laughs> Radhika's feeling is Sanchari in Gopi and Sakhi. Krishna is a Thai. Always wow. thinking for Krishna, but not like a Mahajri. Bhavla Sati, always thinking Swami. That is always Bhavla so the manjari is also in bhavana they are not interested to think out of feelings because this feeling is coming highest feeling is coming from her so sai is here with radha and gopi akhi krishna sneha they have krishna sneha and not Radhik Sneha. That's the point. <laughs> they want to keep something for next time. Yeah. They will give everything, then there is no test will be there. So they are hidingly giving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New. New. That. Next time there is nothing new to give you, so I I am hiding something. <laughs> Maybe next time fresh new thing I will give you. But something is missing. Something is given. Not Radhika. Because self is there. If I will not give you, you will not come to me. You will go to other place. But Radhika says, you are my. You go any place. I have to give always without condition to you. And the Manjari only merit a sky in a Radhika. They know they deviate, they watch everything in a fixed way. Not sunshine. This is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. After giving to him, I see. Rare hundred five percent understand this. That is not mistake of the realized soul. This is my realization mistake. Because I am so much hammered with so much with Krishna that I don't want to change my position. Power. <laughs> and I want to do like a Purusha Viman in my physical body that way. And Manjaris always live in the but not in physical body. They have to live in the Sarupave in Manjari there. So there is no there. A spiritual body has divine they are. They cannot interest it with material. They have no interest in material. They can deal better material things than who is living in the material body. Because they know all details. They visit to dispose the work, then they go back. Because material body is there. First, they do first, not long time. 
automatic things are flowing. They want to keep their eyes feeling with some. Sorry, I give you some hints and then you can explain it. So beautiful, Gurudev. Thank you so much. Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. Radhe. I want to just. And I am very proud that you uh, welcome to Niskinchan Maharaj and Bodhan uh, Maharaj. I am very happy to see that. Thank you. Sadhu Seva, Nava respect. This is the highest thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I also. I also uh, I see in this sangha uh, how is working uh, the shastra sadhus and guru that the shastra and sadhus they give you some vision of the mountain they say you can go in to to achieve this mountain but guru they are giving more uh -huh. near how is to be in this mountain which kind of creature there are so uh, it was my realization with them. In this way, I, I w wouldn't uh, relish uh, her, her Hari Kata also. I know. Uh, uh, I said that uh, by uh, um, looking the Hari Kata, Radha Kata also from sadhus like Nishkin Chana Maharaj and the, they give us some hint, no? But uh, actually, Guru Dev give us more details, no? In the, in the Manjari Bhav and, and by uh, hearing their Harikata, actually, but knowing what Guru Dev said to us, we can really relish their Sangha. So this was my realization. Actually, these subjects are not out of the doubt. Never you can listen. For that, Vrindavan Mahasi open the words and realization to share. And who lives in Vrindavan, who lives in a side how they can realize. If they are in Sanchari, they can, they will not understand. So how to be in a sky in your house that has to develop, that is the good that the sadhana, when he lives in Bhumba. Here somebody is come for Sanchari, how to understand that? I don't Time is wasting too. Is not till the you come with this decision. I will be how many days I am here. I will feast with my son. I all mercy will flow. Are one night, three night, one week, ten days. All realization can come. This is. Enough. This time not, but when you go to some place, it will come. This is Vrindavan. Vrindavan is a place of our Swami. Everything we can learn about Swami only in Vrindavan, but not in Sanchari Bhav. We have to 100% aside, keep the mind for them. No other business than it happens. And the bhajan and other thing is favorable to help to create this situation in life. To keep us high. I like uh, Dianidia. Yeah. I like 
I like very much your realization because um, it also helps when we listen to those who are not so deep into Manjari Bath. Like we are very, very fortunate. We say it every Sunday. We are very, very fortunate that we have Gurudev in our midst and Baba's books. So, for, and, but it also helps us when we are there. In such another sangha, it helps us to appreciate that you have to really, really know what could have just said. If you have no style above, if you don't, you know, I was so many years, I was there and I didn't know even what style above means. So it is very, very important. And we have to treasure this in our heart, not to see, oh, they don't know anything. This is very wrong. But we have to treasure in our heart. What we, what we, what, what they, what Baba gives us, what Gurudev is giving us, that we clearly know what is our fixed position. What is our, what do I want? I don't, I want this. I want to have a fixed position and not listen to many, many stories of many, many avatars and all these things. We have to treasure this in our heart that we are now at the point, like Gurudev is saying, that we exactly know what is our goal and what is our brain priority what is our fixed position no need for for sundry moods and for non-permanent feelings we have to cement and fix the style path and this is a treasure we can we can really always appreciate when we are together with with sadhus always one thing i want to say rupa goswami last book what is the name Utkali Kavalari. Utkali Kavalari. I have a Sanchari. Mixed. <laughs> what is the meaning of Utkali Kavalari? I am with, I am anxious. From here to region of Saiba. Mm. Inside I am feel emptiness. Mind is not happy. I have some greed to fulfill that. Right? Something I am missing. I'm suffering for that. Then his disciples listen and understand. Then he give answer to his Gurudev. You are you want this. So these are the exchange of the classicals. <laughs> So what is our, before that, all is a preparation to reach it. Even Govinda Leela Amrita is also very high class book, but without a high vow, what you will understand. My my, my Gurudev, he said, not touch this book. Why? Now I understand. Without a Sai Bhav, if you reach, you will be in Gopi Bhav or Sakhi Bhav. Not in Manjari Bhav, because you want to do the same with Krishna. That is, one day you practice, you become Kaput. Mm. One day, even in dream practice, your desire becomes like that. Mm. Oh. Right. Then you will practice in physical body also. And on and on, you divert your goal. Check. So other book, without a five of, I suggest that no touch. Because you are not qualified to see that. And if you are in Stai Bhav, you have no interest in these books. 
But perhaps, as Dianidi said, when we are in Cyborg, it could enrich the Leela, uh, more and more aspects of the Leelas, perhaps. But if you come to a Cyborg, then judge what happened. The best time is starting. If we are in Stai Bath, we will find the literature, what is in our bath, and this is then what we will get. And this is only written by a Manjari. If it is written by a Gopi or someone else, it's not useful. Only a Manjari can uh, write a book like this. One, one. Guru, very scholar, he went to Anandas Baba. He bring his book under nine many places. And he said, what you write, there is no based on Sasa. <laughs> this is no based on Sasa. You, your, your, your imagination, your writing, then he yeah. take the book. He takes the he touched it on the head and he closed and he gave to him. Baba Ami Kichu Janina Apni Bolen Ki Jan Janchen Ami Shunte Jai Ami to Kichu Janina. What Radharani say? I don't know anything. What Radharani say? The finger move. I have no idea. I have no so qualification. Oh. This was the answer of Mahajan. Oh, wow. No argument, no discussion. Wow. Beautiful. Several times, several times they came to him. I, I heard also several times different people came and and they said, what are you writing here? And this and that. Baba gave always, I know one instant more, and Baba gave the same answer. And he said to this person, he's a very famous person, Baba was saying, I am very sorry, you are right, thank you. And he gave the book back for in front of everyone. So humble, so humble, never any... Never any discussion. Beautiful. Person who comes, he's also right. <laughs> from yes. his position. From his point, he, from his point, yes. yes. He, uh, he's right. He <laughs> don't yes. want to leave his Saki uh, Bhav. Yes. Bhav. He's right. Yes. yes. It's a unique thing, Baba, right? Not for the Saki Bhav of Gopi Bhav. For this one, how is crazy for the Gopi and such. Mm. Because they are partner for this bhava, a manjari bhava. <laughs> right? Yes. So they are, if they are right, there is no problem. And you could see Baba never, Baba never was in any like the qualifications of a true Sadhguru, there is no ego, there is no enemy, there is no envy, there is no lust. So he never, he never entered into any, I saw so many videos, he never entered into any discussion of bad outcome. He, like you, Gurudev, you are the same, you're also, you're right. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best, avoiding these issues. No use. I waste the time. Yes. To waste time sometime with a family member who is in my family, a Gurudev family, and they come for something, they do something, then I feel pain. What Baba gave 
Rajnath Das Goswami is sharing to us, it is rare a gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to understand. But we don't want to understand, then I feel great. Mm. But I am surprised. Gaura Sundara is so flowing here. I cannot believe the how fast. So you no need any qualification. Logical argument from Narayan Mara say you have to leave the logical argument. Sadhu Sasa Guru Vat. You know, Chitya Se Karo Akko. Listen, sadhus. First is sadhu. Then check the sadhus are what they Sleep in Vrindavan. Sleep in Vrindavan, Gurudev. Yeah. Yeah. And sadhu, sastra. Then you check the sastra. Is a reference from sastra or not? You no need to doubt. Is all the sastra what he is telling? And when you will check this, sadhu and sastra, what say guru is the telling same thing. Hmm. He can stay out of that. If I make some new way of my, my method is not working here because it's a very high stage of spiritual feelings. It's not material that um, I will create new way of the life. Hmm. Not the way is spiritual means I never know about that. I never practice this, that to know only with the realized soul who practice it. How I will know that and how I can make new way. Good if the verse you cut swore that Sadhu Shastra Guru Bhakya Ritaye Koriyo Aikya Satata Basipo Brema Maji. Maji, that Brema Maji. Because mm -hmm. I have no realization of uh, Sadhu. What's if I have a faith in Sadhu, what's Sastra is telling same. And when you listen deeply from Gurudev, he also says same. What Sadhu says, Sastra says, Guru says. Hmm. If he is Radha Dasi, if he is not Radha Dasi, <laughs> then Prabhupada says, he is not bona fide, no? just qualified, not bona fide. One is bona fide, one is qualified. Maybe qualified, but not bona fide. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Gurudev. This is such a central point. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya. Chitete Koriyo Aikya. Arna Mora Asa. This is English. English Koriyo. Make the words, it said, Guru Mukha Padma Vakya. It make it said uh, in the Shri Guru Charana Padma. Make the words of Shri Guru Dev one with your heart. This is not happening here. This the day happened. Life change. Love a month, sadhu sadhu, sarvasiddhi. Love a month. I say, only by looking to my Gurudev, what you say? 90 degree and total 180, no? mm. 180 
ट्वेंटी डिग्री माय लाइफ चेंज टोटल दिस इज गुरु के दे आई टूक इनिशिएशन आफ्टर टेन फिफ्टीन डेज ही कम एंड गिव सरूप टू the day i see the day i took the diksha from him arinam and diksha one day at the same moment i rely my my is to the the moment is giving i rely this the yeah and over to me in the lotus feet to my is the I get the Guru Dev, and at the same time, Mr. Dev. Mm. I born here. I'm living in this family, but I never feel like he's still. For me, he was foreigner, Radham. His name was for for me. Honestly, I say. But his kripa changed my hundred eighty degree. No glass, no sherry. The vibe of him changed. Um, so, Gurudev, can we say, as you mentioned just before, that Manjari is the name for a jiva who is always in its swarup? Manjari is the name of jiva who live in the bhav kulas lati. Understand the meaning of bhav. Feeling to live in only in feeling, even not in the physical body, not in the senses. That bhav, and this bhav make us so happy that every moment he is mad, and that he means. Rati is the wife of Kamdev, so this is the only need and desire for that living soul to be only live in that chakra, the circle of that. They don't want to go out from that. They have to come out. You see, Raghunath Goswami is coming out, but they are coming out from that consciousness. They cry to go back in the service. My Raghunath Goswami is coming. Is forty come? Then he going. But is forty losing? And crying is that suffering is that why I lose it? This material world, material body is so catchy that Raghunath Das Goswami also is crying when he loses his seva. What it means that we also lose the seva. When he loses seva, we lose more and more. But we are trying to run for the material thing, and he is trying to go in in material, in spiritual. Sorry, 
So how it's coming, I don't know. It's all in Guru Kripa. Gurudev is sharing. Baba is sharing. I, I don't know. Adi Radhi, can I say just something? Actually, I wanted to say uh, this what we were was reading before. No? With great effort, he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. So is it, we can say, Gurudev, that actually Krishna is the relisher, no? and Radhika is only pleasure, pleasure giving potency all the time, non-stop. So he cannot, he can take this jewel only in the feeling, constant feeling of Radhika, like in the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And also he can keep this jewel in the position of the manjari, like you said, Babola Sarati. So only like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he can keep really this jewel. When he is in the present of Radharani, he can see how he is insignificant like a relisher and how is much more uh, feelings of giving, constantly giving of, of love. So it's come to me. I don't know if it's correct. I would, I would like to say something to Devi said. It's very wonderful. Um, so Devi, we just we we had just an exchange on 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 written form. So actually, Baba is saying, so Devi, I, I wanted to tell you, Baba is saying in one commentary that every individual soul, every jiva, is qualified to get Manjari Swarup. So the jiva, the soul. He can have many swarups. He, he can become a cowherd. He can become a saki. He can become vatsalya. He can become a parent. But we, our soul, our jiva, your jiva, Gurudev's jiva, my jiva, Baba's jiva, our soul is the one of a manjari. So our, our, our wish, our desire is to become a manjari, to get manjari swaru. So, and Baba is saying by the mercy, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, every individual soul can take part and can become a manjari. So this is a very, very wonderful gift of Mahaprabhu that every one of us who is now sitting here or who is listening at home, so everyone by the Kripa of Mahaprabhu and, and of course ultimately Gurudev can become the Jiva of us, the soul can become a manjari. So this is very, very wonderful. But he has to be greed for that. If there is no greed, Narayan Maharaj says not happening. Yes. <laughs> Lopa. Other greed means that greed, two greeds cannot pass with one person. Greed means one. Where I want to move, that is my grid. Right? I cannot keep at it one, one heart to no. know. Jesus made this example also. He said, you cannot serve two lords. Yes. If you serve one, then you serve more. If you serve two, you will love one, maybe more. You can, it's not possible to serve two lords. And you see, Mahaprabhu, he came. The first thing Mahaprabhu was saying, when you worship Krishna and Radha and Krishna in Vaidhi Bhakti, you go to Vaikunta Loka. And when you worship Krishna and Radhika in Raganuka Bhakti, you go to Goloka Rindavan. So this is the first, what you call, you know, Kreuzung, crossroad. You know, you, you come at that crossroad and you can only go 
in the way of Raganuga Bhakti, like Gurudev just said, when you got this loba, this greed, and how we get this loba and this greed, Rupa Goswami is saying this in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sinha, the only cause for Raganuga Bhakti is the mercy of the devotees. And I was just reading in uh, this morning that actually it is not even Krishna's mercy that we can practice Raganuga Bhakti is actually the devotee's mercy. Krishna is putting bhakti into the heart of the devotees and they have it and they can give it to us. So bhakti is causing actually bhakti. So we get the mercy and we get this greed, this wonderful, wonderful greed, this lopa from those who can inspire us on that way. So therefore we have to listen to those who have this greed in their hearts, the lopa, and then we can develop our own and we can practice Raganuga Bhakti Sadhana. Otherwise, it's not possible, not on our own endeavors. That is why the Bhakti, and that will not bring us to Brindavan. That will bring us to Vaikunda Loka, which is okay for those who want that. But those who want to follow Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is this wonderful verse, Sri Chaitanya Manopishtam, Stabitam Yenam Bhutali, Svayam Rupa Katamayam, Tatari Svapadandikam. Sri Chaitanya Manopishtam, his Manopishtam of Mahaprabhu, what was it? It was that we as Jivas can taste the nectarian love the Manjaris are feeling. So this is the Manopishtam. Mahaprabhu only, only, only came to give us this wonderful mercy, not to make anything else, but to practice Raganuga Bhakti Sadhana. And this we can only do when we cherish the mercy of those who already, like you, if you want to climb Mount Everest, you have to check those people who have been there. You cannot go on your own. You have to listen to those who have been there. So the same is with Raganuga Bhakti. You have to follow those who follow the same path, who have the same mood, and who have the same goal. So therefore, we are so fortunate that we sit here all together and listen to the same story every Sunday, same same direction, same mood, same goal. This is unique, like Srila Gurudev was just saying. This is unique in, in the conception that we all sit here and we all want to participate in this beautiful Manjari Bhav Sadhana. And this is actually what is the Manubhishtam, this wonderful, wonderful heart gift of Mahaprabhu. So this is what we all strive for. This is what we want, this low part, this greed. Gorasundara, share something, brother. <laughs> Please. I think now I have to read. And I, I sorry, I also meant Goranga Sundara. Sorry. He didn't ah, okay. say any word. He didn't say any word. This is not going to happen. We cannot let him escape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His lips are sealed. Okay. He is too much in ecstasy. <laughs> it, it was such a beautiful lecture on Saturday with him. So I can imagine. Sweet. <laughs> always is. Always is. Well, yesterday it was more than always. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, read a little bit more, Gorasunda. Read a little bit more. Yes. He does not... I, I, once again, he does not wear his favorite necklace around his neck, nor does he anoint his body with sandal paste anymore, with great a four, he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. And now we continue. He single-handedly makes beta leaves with comfort and fills my mouth with them, Radhika is telling. 
He laughs and smiles and holds my chin as he takes the pan out of my mouth with his mouth. He dresses me, baths me and ornaments me and ecstatically takes me on his lap. He takes a lamp in his hand to look at my face as tears trickle from his eyes. Holding my feet, he anoints them with his foot leg and he binds my dish welded hair into a braid. As Balaram Das meditates on this Leela, the song ends. Tulasi awakens all these sweet memories within Swamini's mind while marking her part with a line of Sindura. Now, expert to Lassi. Sorry, sorry to, to interrupt. So this is also a very, very important part of the Sevas. Like we can imagine our, also for ourselves that we are doing when when uh, the, the mantra is together with Radhika, she always has the task because Krishna is physically not there anymore, maybe. So the task of the manjari of the kinkari is always somehow or another to remember Swamini about him, uh, even by, by gestures, by talks, by thoughts. You know, she is always there to, to revive. Like you just read, awaken, she awakens the, the love in, in Swamini. So she's like an ambassador. She's like a middleman. And she's like doing this, this task to always remember, to always paint the picture in Swamini's heart of her beloved, sometimes by words, gestures, you know, sometimes she fans the, the way that, that Radhika inhales the, the order of Krishna. So she always has this task of, of uh, reminding Swamini of her beloved. Lassi awakens all these sweet memories within Swamini's mind while marking her path with the line of Sindura. Now expert Tulasi holds a big mirror before Bhava Mai, that means all emotional Radhika, and says, just see how I've decorated you. I have dressed you. But now I want to see my work spoiled by Shyam. Swamini is startled when she sees her own form in the mirror. Proudly she thinks, if even my undecorated body makes Shyam mad, what then to speak of this fully decorated body? How long before I can make my hero enjoy this sweet form of mine? When can I make him happy with this limitless, useful beauty that knows no match in all the three worlds. Such beautiful thoughts are even desired by the Lord. During a particular Lila, Lila he sees his own reflection in Shimati Radharani's breast. And with an enchanted heart, he says, May Sri Rata protect us as she smiles when she hears Hari, who sees his own reflection in her shining golden breast, telling her, 
There are two beautiful boys visible on your breasts. Their luster steals the glories of blue lotus flowers. And they completely enchanted me. So Krishna was enchanted by his own picture. Again, he is in the mood. He's taking on the mood of Swamini. It's the same, same again. He's he's like a mirror of what is going on in in Brahma Vaichitya, in the madness of Radhika's heart. He is he's mirroring it. Yeah, and he forgets who he is, really is. Uh, so he see himself in the breast of Radhika. That makes him completely mad. <laughs> that is the this is so, David. This is also the position of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Make me your Saki, so that these two boys can tightly embrace us young girls. So he is here he is explaining the mood of the Sakis, right? They like to get embraced by, by Krishna. <laughs> make me your Saki. He's not writing, make me your Manjari. No, no. Make me your Saki. So that these two boys can tightly embrace us young girls. <laughs> so he he feels like a young girl. So he's he's completely upside down. He's, no, he's Manjari Bhav. Huh? He's, he's in Manjari Bhav. Yes, he don't he don't know that he is Krishna anymore. So that is the Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu want to take the mode of Radhika. This is yeah. Manjari Bhav. Right. Krishna yeah. practicing and sewing here. <laughs> Krishna become Dasi of Radhika and he started living in Bhavala Sati. That is the this verse was he how he accept the Manjiri Bhav that he said that I am your student, you control and I dance. Make me your Saki, so that these huh? two boys, so that these two boys can tightly embrace us young girls. He said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this was his desire. Huh? Swamini reacts by saying, "Shyam." You are the young transcendental Cupid himself. Is the desire to enjoy your own sweetness so strong? Yeah. Wow. And she thinks to herself, how beautiful I am. It would all be wasted if beautiful Shyam couldn't relish it. So this is clearly, this is clearly like Sudevi wonderfully said, now Radhika is hinting and, and, and this is clearly now the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, to, to, to understand the glories of Swamini's love, to understand what she feels and to understand how beautiful she is. Now this is really, Baba is clearly now showing clear. us the, clear. the appearance. Krishna's happiness is Radhika's happiness. You see? That is Baul Lasters. This Manjari Bhav, beautiful. <laughs> she dresses. There's one question. Are they uh, we want Krishna happiness, are you? Krishna desire is Radhika happiness, is my happiness, and my desire is uh, against the Shastra we talk, against the sadhus, against the Shastra. We want to be a gopi and sakhi. 
<laughs> we are we don't want to leave our actions we are. We don't like to make Radhika our boss. No, impossible. <laughs> she cannot be boss. <laughs> crazy people make boss Radhika. Supreme Personality God has to be boss. He is the boss. He is the boss. <laughs> and far away. Still, I Krishna. cannot run after 20 huh? years. 20 years back. <laughs> he say, you have, if we can do, if you talk, Radha name is offense. Yes, big <laughs> offense. <laughs> oh, Radha, Radha. <laughs> so how can, you know what, you know, this is like, what is Narottam Das Thakur saying? Those who, who sing, who, who say Radha's name, they, you know, they get, how can you, how can you go into Manjari Bhav? How can you practice Raganuga Bhakti without saying Radha's name? Impossible. If you say Radhika's name, even for those, even for those who are Krishna's Nehadika, Radnaratam Das is saying, if you say Radhika, you will get Krishna. So even for them. So Radhika's name is like a touchstone. So Prabhupada said Bhakta has no right to enter Raghavati. So he said that Radha, Baidhi Bhaktas are not qualified to think for Radha mm -hmm. because they will lose Baidhi Bhakti. Mm -hmm. They have to maintain status. What a shame. <laughs> they have to maintain their status. Yes, yes. They don't want to leave their position. Uh, Govinda Priya, you only yes. give to Tarpava, not to me. Oh, Gurudev, I always give to you. This is not fresh air, Gurudev. This is just <laughs> lemon juice. Fresh air yes. in Vrindavan in winter. I know she is giving juice. <laughs> rasa. Yes, Rasa, yes. <laughs> Shakti and Rasa. We are all giving Rasa. So much Rasa today, Gurudev. Why I say to give me also? You will come near, then you can give. Yes. I know, Gurudev. We will, Gurudev. I know. We will. <laughs> See that. <laughs> Our basement. Only basement is all they will sit there and it will be very nice classroom. Now we are going to fix the basement. Mm. Many work will do before the teachers are coming from the whole world. Before that I have to fix it. I am a listener now. I am not a preacher. I don't know to preach. Preacher means many information you have to know. <laughs> and I don't <laughs> So I become a little useless. <laughs> I don't know. You give, Gurudev, you give the essence. That is much more important. I rather have essence. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. Nobody listens. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to accept me. I see this. <laughs> So no, 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 you give quintessence for this. They are my teacher. I'm a student. I want to be happy with the students. That we have to learn. I like one word in Hindi. This my Turban people, they, they say I'm a Sikh. Sikh means every moment who want to learn. And I like this word. We have to be Sikh. We have to learn every moment of life to improve it. Mm. Every moment. Because the feelings are teaching us. If we are not ready to learn from that feelings, we will never learn. Every moment. 
is a, like a waves of ocean. Sick. Every moment you have to sick. <laughs> which when it will come, we don't know. And which waves are what it is waves we have to sick. And this is also right, Raghunath Das he is in Leela Smaran and he come out from the Leelas. So we also come out from the Leela Smaran. He's a natural. Because of this human body, he is coming less. We are more, more in human body. And my sense is I will come out more time. Hundred percent. But sick, always try to learn, start again, we have to try to go back, not from material things. Thank you, my dear. You are our Mahajan. When I see you, I see Goranga Sundar, when he talks, my God, my heart is start melting. I cannot find these words, what he is expressing and going deep than me. Guru is Guru. Chela becomes sugar. Refined sugar, more refined you do. Full of juice. And he said, say something. I said, what I will add? I am a brown sugar, you are a white sugar. You make more filter, clear. You clean my heart also. This is Baranga Sundar Kripa. But to, today you don't like to share, no? <laughs> you see that we are sharing. We never share. The word so. is making condensed milk. <laughs> no, no. I don't know anything else. Baba Kripa, Gurudev Kripa is dispatched to Mahajans, Gaurasundar and Tarun Baba. My Kishori. Tandavat Gurudev, thank you for sharing so much today. Thank you so much. Suddenly, sadhus are start coming. When the sadhus start coming in the home, that is the fortune of the devotee. You see, Ramananda and Sanatani, all they want to go there. They feel their home. This is my place to go. Thank you. Sri Ram. Beautiful. What is the difference between Sri Radha and Radha Sham? <laughs> <laughs> Sai Baba and Sanchari Baba. <laughs> Sri Radha and Radha Sham. One is hiding. <laughs> 
Sam Sneha and Radik Sneha. <laughs> by words and by the vibe you can feel everything. One time you explained, Gurudev, that the difference is that um, in Vrindavan, when you say to Brajvasis who are in Manchari Bhav, if you say Radhe Shyam, they will be like, shh, you have to be quiet. Just say Radhe Radhe. Otherwise, everybody will know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Mundava, Mundava, thank you, Mundava. <laughs>